Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex and today I'm going to show you how to move from your WhatsApp on the iPhone 6 to the WhatsApp on the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. A lot of people are asking this because the iPhone 6 does not have iOS 15. So let's check it out what kind of iOS we have here. So you can see here that we have iOS 12.5.5. This is the latest iOS for the iPhone 6. Let's see if we can move from WhatsApp iPhone to WhatsApp Samsung, WhatsApp Android. Make sure you have enough battery. I recommend you to have 100%. We're gonna make sure we have the latest version of WhatsApp on the iPhone 6. So we're gonna go to the Apple Store and we're gonna search for WhatsApp. And if you see here open, that means that you have the latest version. If you have update, you will have to update your WhatsApp. So, okay, we're good. On the Android, I want you to do the same thing. You're gonna look for Smart Switch. Make sure that you have the latest version of Smart Switch. And also you're gonna look for Google Data. What we want here is this, Data Restore Tool. Click on it. Data Restore Tool, we have an update. So we need to do the update and that's it. So now that we have Data Restore Tool and Smart Switch to the latest versions, I want you to make sure that your phone has the latest update possible. Software update, download and install. And you can see that my Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 is up to date. So now that we know we are good with the software updates, we're gonna proceed to do the transfer. So how can we start this transfer? How can we do this transfer? We need to connect both devices. We need a cable that goes from lighting to USB-C. You cannot do this wirelessly. You need to do it with a cable. If you don't have a cable, you can buy it. I'm gonna put a link on the description so you can buy it from Amazon. And also you can use an adapter. If you own any Apple device, this is probably the most common cable. You're gonna have lighting to USB-A. Most Samsung phones come with an adapter that will turn uh, USB-A to USB-C. So you can use this and this will work. I recommend you to use a cable that is already set up, you know, lighting port to USB-C. And again, you can buy this at Amazon. I think it costs 10 bucks. Okay, so let's do this. Let's connect the iPhone first. And now let's connect the Samsung. Let's see what happened. Immediately you have this pop-up that says choose an app for the USB device. So we're gonna select Smart Switch and we're gonna select just once. Trust this computer, trust. Next. The Samsung Smart Switch is going to show all the stuff that it can move from the iPhone to the Samsung. But we don't need all the stuff. We just need what's up. So we're going to deselect everything and we're going to select apps. We're going to scroll up and we're going to click transfer. And from here, you're going to deselect this again. And we're going to select WhatsApp because that's what we want to transfer. We're going to click install. And look at this, transfer WhatsApp chats. So we have a QR code. In order to read this QR code, we can open the camera app on the iPhone, move it on top. This is going to give us a link that when we click, it says opening WhatsApp, open. And it's gonna open our WhatsApp and it's gonna say move chats to Android. If for some reason your camera doesn't work, you can go to this screen using another method. I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna cancel this. You're gonna go to settings and here go to chats. And here you can see an option say move chats to Android. You click here and you're gonna land on the same page as if we read the QR code. So either way, you should be able to access this option. A lot of people don't see the QR code and that's a bad sign. That means that probably it's not gonna work. But if you see the QR code, you're good. So we're gonna start the transfer, guys. Start. And it says transferring data from your old phone. And here it says continue on your new phone. And it says do not disconnect the cable yet. I don't have a lot of data on this phone. I think I have 35 megs of data but probably you're gonna have a lot more. So it's gonna take longer on your case. In my case, it's gonna be fast. So look at this, it says data transfer results, one item, one app. So if we click here on iPhone apps, they have the options to install everything, but we just want WhatsApp. So click on WhatsApp only. WhatsApp is gonna verify our number. So we're gonna click agree and continue. And we're gonna use the 754-269-2902. Okay, I'm gonna click next. You enter this phone number. I'm gonna confirm it and I'm gonna get a text message. Okay, so this is important guys because I didn't get a code because it looks like I'm trying to verify the account several times. So when that happened, WhatsApp put a hold on the confirmation. Sometimes it's days or hours or whatever. It says here, resend SMS in seven hours, but I have this option to call me. So I'm gonna ask them to call me and they're calling me on my other phone where I have the SIM card. So I'm gonna pick up. Oh, So that's it. I verify my phone number on the Android device and it says importing chat history. We need permission to restore your chats. You will not be able to import later if you skip this step. So we're gonna click start. 
and we're going to allow WhatsApp to access our contacts and pictures. So now it's importing everything. Import complete, it says. So I'm going to click next. And now they're asking me to set up my WhatsApp on the Android. So I'm going to put Alex next. I'm going to set up the backup. It's going to be daily on this account. Also here. And I'm going to include the videos. Done. And that's it, guys. I got all my WhatsApp history, and I'm going to show you how. If you click here, you're going to see all the stuff that I sent to myself with another phone number. I have a lot of files, different files, PDFs, uh, Excel, Word documents, anything that you send, zip files, anything that you send through WhatsApp, you're going to be able to have it. No problem. And the most important part, you have all the pictures and the videos, okay? You're not going to lose anything, guys. So, and everything is working. We have the chats, of course, pictures, contacts, audio messages. Hey, how you doing, guys? I'm testing the audio messages on WhatsApp. All right. So it was a success. So to answer the question, can you use this method with an older device? On here on the iPhone, I'm just going to click cancel, cancel transfer, and I'm going to lose access to my WhatsApp, of course. Hey, how you doing, guys? I'm Look, this is connecting. Audio messages. Right there, they find out. Your phone number is not longer registered with WhatsApp on this phone. This might be because you registered on another phone. Yes, we did here. If you didn't do this, verify this phone number to log in back to your account. So this is pretty much great news, guys, because that means that even if you have an older iPhone with an older iOS, you can still transfer to a Samsung device. Now, a lot of people ask me, can I do this with my Xiaomi? Can I do this with my OnePlus or my Motorola or my Google Pixel? So far, this only works for a Samsung device. So my advice will be do it on a Samsung device, do a backup on a Google Drive, and then you can move to any Android device. All right, guys, so that concludes our video. We are successfully transferred everything to the new Galaxy Z Flip 3. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because that's the best way you can support my channel so I can keep doing videos for you. Thank you, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.